Howdy everybody, Big Fatty Plus, and welcome back to the Big Man Plays Dreamfall, The Longest Journey. When we last left off, we went all, well not all over Mercury, but dang close to it, trying to uh, put together mold wine for blind, theoretically blind Bob. Only for him to tell us that uh, the old lady who sells soups is Mr. Magna. But we need to talk to a crazy old lady first. But I'm going to see if I can skip that. Hello again, dear. Did you change your mind? Would you like a cup of soup? No, thank you. Very well, dear. Nope, won't last talk to her until we talk to Crazy Clara. One of his last name is Clayton. Whoa, what a pain, what a pain, what a pain. Lots of running around in this town. And speaking of crazy Clara, here she is now. And yes. That must be Clara. She certainly looks the part. Hi there. Are you crazy? Um, are you yes. Clara by any Skip chance? The crazy. You've been a bad girl, Clara. You'll have to be punished. My baby, my baby. Gone, gone, gone. Um. Um. The, 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 the baby? What happened to your baby? Are you a spook? Do you dangle? N no. Never fraternize with spooks, Clara. They can eat your soul. I'm... I'm pretty sure I'm not a spook. But you do dangle. How I, I do? Dangle? I honestly don't know. Dangle from their necks, the murderers do. Mind you stay good, Clara, or you dangle too. And then you turn into a spook. Oh, no, I don't dangle. I'm alive, see? Ah, uh, no! Clara has been bad. She must be punished. No, please, no, it burns. Pretty thing, pretty thing. No more, please, no more. God, I'm, I'm okay. so sorry. I didn't mean to. Are you okay? No, she was never my okay. Baby, my beautiful baby. All gone, all gone. Yeah, just Sleep like your mind. Beautiful. Everything will be better in the morning. I'm sorry, Flower, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you, Clara. You didn't so hurt her! you lost something. Or someone. My baby. Yes, that part I got. Your baby. Is it a child? A pet? Westerlings caught him in a net. Just like a butterfly. That's illegal, that is. Can't have that now, can we? Boxed him right up. We'll take care of him, put him to sleep for you. Oh, no. Pretty thing. Poor thing. My baby. Sounds like a pet. So it is your pet. A dog? Cat? I'm guessing there are stranger pets in this world. No stranger. Best friend. Of course. You'll never have friends. You've been bad. No, please no. My friend. You said the Westerlings took him. Who are the Westerlings? Take a guess. The oh, ghetto's close. Stand back. What's that you've got there, eh? Give us that thing right now. The soldiers took him. What did they do with him? We'll take care of him, we will. Gone. But close. So close. I still hear him, my baby. I still hear him crying. Do you want me to help you find your baby? Of course. Find baby? Yes, if I can. I'll try. Do you know where he is? Caged up like the twinkles in a diamond. He was coming home to Mammy. Home. Never again. Never. Never. Oh, boy. Don't say that. We'll find him, okay? Hello oh. again, Clara. Uh, by the way, My um... baby? No, not, not yet. yet. But I'll try my best, okay? I don't want you to try your best, Clara. I want you to do your best. Oh. Gone. Okay, then. Gone. I guess we should have asked for about Minstra Magna or Blind Bob, but we jumped right to the chase, her baby. Because we're like that. <sighs> oh, 
Where is it? She may, yeah, okay. Gotta go find her baby. Find her baby, find her baby. Let me look around. Ah, crazy Claire has lost her baby. Her baby's a pet, obviously. That place looks like bad news. I guess I better go talk to... The hell was that? Huh. I guess I better go talk to someone about this... Freaking blood... Crazy Clara's bird. What the hell is like? that snow look like it's something drawn on the ground there? I can't really tell. Let me see. Eh, it's just... Just the texturing. Ah, uh, back when texturing, texturing was actual effort and work and people actually took the time and care to make the textures look good. Whereas now it's just, we'll just uh, slap a flat ground texture on it and that'll work. Yeah, that'll work just fine. Yes, of course. Ah, <sighs> okay. Let's see. Who would know about Crazy Clara's bird? Hey, uh, old lady person also, I should say. And yes, still going to show the uh, top end of the OBS there. Hey. Hello again, dear. Did you change your mind? Would you like a cup of soup? No, thank you. Very well, dear. Can I talk to you? Yeah, mother. All right, let's go talk to... Uh... Yeah, it's lots of uh, running back and forth. Back and forth. Lots of back and forth. Lots of running back and forth. This stupid place. I slap you in your freaking helmeted head, you schmuck. Freaking Azadi. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The first. The first scene we had with uh, April Ryan there uh, fighting the Azadi should tell you that the Azadi are the bad guys because they're. The occupiers, you know, but uh, they're a large force. Hey, buddy! A donation to the welfare of no! A blind Theoretically mob, blind And you'll receive your reward in the afterlife for your choice. Okay, Benrime. I need to... Can I talk... Is it Benrime I need to talk to again? Yes. Um, hello? Yes? Oh, it's you. What can I do for you, child? Oh, okay. How come everyone speaks English here? English? No, child. We speak all tongue, as do you. All what? All tongue. Now then, it is the common tongue of our world. But we're speaking English now, right? No. Now then is a magical tongue. It is learned quickly by those who know how to listen. Really? So, what? I can speak a magical language. That's incredible. It's not incredible. Magic. No, it is quite ordinary, child. I'll be back after I find Minstrel Magda. Very well, child. Okay, and I, I yes, I just took a look at the walkthrough while the exchange was going on. <sighs> yeah. I should have remembered. Arms, arms for a poor. You get nothing. Yeah, I, I should have remembered when she was talking about they took her away. It took him away. She was at the uh, border to the uh, the ghetto, which is where you know they, they they have the pet right now. So we need to go and get her pet back post haste. As soon as I uh, take the nice run back down here. And I keep thinking to myself, if this was Dynasty Warriors, I'd be running through this town slaying all the Azadi with Lubu. <laughs> I need to go back to playing that, so why I miss that game? Okay, sir, I just need to... Well, let me see here. Oh, would you look at that right down... Oh, it's a pet there. What is this? That must be Crazy Clara's pet. It's really cute. Well, let's uh, open the gate there. Oh Lord! Oh Lord, no! Oh Lord! Hey. Hey. Get your fish. Fresh from the 
Um, well, obviously we know where the pet went back to. I just brought you your dang spices in the last episode. You got something to sell. Now stop it. <laughs> that man irritates me. Oh, I thought I saw something. Ah. <sighs> Oh. Hey! Little whatever the heck your name is. Hey, Clara, how you doing? That's really sweet. I feel all warm and tingly inside. Yeah, I'm sure it's not the, uh... The air that's doing it to you. I see you got your baby back. Safe now. We are happy. So, so happy. I'm glad. Look, I'm trying to find Minstrel Magda. Do you know where she is? Magda? Where is Magda? That's what I need to know. Please, could you try and focus for a second? I really need to find Minstrel Magda. Cup of soup, Clara? Says the soup lady. Oh, yes, please. Right you are, then. Mmm, salt, not soup. Our favourite... What do you mean? Oh, soup lady, as in soup kitchen. She runs a soup kitchen. Soup. Soup for the poor and homeless. Warm and thick with peas and carrots in it. Oh. And not only peas and carrots, but dubious lumps too. Where is Magda's soup kitchen? You just I go down it. there every morning to have my soup. I do. She's nice, she is. The soup lady. You ask her nicely, I'm sure she'll give you a cup too. Down where? The market? Yes! We're just down the street, Clara, at the Southgate Market from sunrise till midday every day. You come by any time, you hear? That's right. The soup kitchen. I pass right by it. Thanks, Clara. Take good care of your baby, okay? He's a beautiful pet. Wave goodbye now. Wave goodbye, little one. He didn't wave goodbye, but uh, I'll forgive it this time. Whatever the living hell that thing is. <sighs> Lady! I'm going to talk to you, hey. Minstrum Magda. I finally found her. Let's talk, shall we? Hello again, dear. Did you change your mind? Would you like a cup of soup? No. No, thank you. Are you Minstrum Magda? No. Shh, not so loud. There are ears everywhere. Who are you? What do you want? I I'm just looking for Minstrum Magda. I don't know any Minstrum Magda. There are no Minstrum in this city. Not anymore. But I was told that you... The Minstrum... Like I said, there are none left. Oh. I didn't know that. I don't know anything. I was just told that... that Magda could help me. And who, pray tell, told you that? Ben Rime. The innkeeper at the Journeyman. Oh? And who would that be? Ben Rime. Ah, oh, crap! What was her name? Yeah, crap, hold on. What's it? Salmon. Salmon. Her name is Ben Rime Salmon. I see. So Ben Rime sent you to find Magda. Now why would she do a thing like that? Because I'm not supposed because to be here. I'm, I'm, um, not from around here. That too. That much is quite obvious. Very well, dear. I do believe that you're as lost as you seem to be. Well, I'm easy. Magda. Just Magda, mind, and you would do well to address me as such. Either that or ma'am. No titles, no honorifics. Ben Rime ought to have made that clear to you. I will try and assist you with any questions that you may have, and maybe even point you in the right direction. But be discreet. Like I said, there are ears everywhere. What do you mean ears? I don't see... What do you mean? Um... Why, why, why can't I call you by your full name? Minstrom is not a name. 
It's a title I carry before the Azadi banned the Sentinel from the city. Uh -huh. And it's a position I no longer hold. It belongs to the past. And I don't wish to speak of it here where the walls have ears. Uh, well, who, who's the Azadi? Who are the Azadi? Even though we know. They are our protectors and our guests. They helped liberate Mercuria from the tyrant oh, the armies tyrant. ten years ago. Oh, so that was wrong. And then they decided to stay. Oh, it was the tyrant attacking us. So the city's under occupation? Not at all. And you would do well not to speak ill of the Azadi, lest you fancy seeing the inside of Friar's Keep. They are here to unify and convert the Northlands in the name of their goddess. And they are very particular about their faith. It leaves precious little room for other ideas. But that's all I will tell you. I would leave the topic be if I were you. We'll find out more about it later. So uh, I need a little bit of help there, uh, 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 Magda. I'm, I'm not supposed to be here. Why did the innkeeper tell me to see you? Most likely because I have assisted travelers like you before. But the times have changed. Mercuria has become a very dangerous place for people like yourself. For me too, but I belong here. You do not. Obviously. You think? I just want to go home. And so you should, with haste. There's no adventure to be had here. Not anymore. So there's nothing you can do for me? Like I said, I will assist you with any questions you may have, and I will point you in the right direction. But that is all I can do. Um... Maybe. Let's ask. Do you know anyone by the name of April Ryan? April? I may have heard that name before. You may? What would you with her? Uh, I don't know. I need to find her. We have something in common, and I think... I think she's in trouble. And you intend to save her? How do you propose to do that? With my I don't karate! Know that I just need to find her. <laughs> hmm... Well, I apologize, but I cannot help you there. Of course. So, uh, how do I get home? Can you help me get back to my world? No, I cannot. It's too dangerous. But I can point you in the direction of someone who might be able to help you. You will need to enter Old Town. They call it the Magic Ghetto these days, after our protectors rebuilt the wall. Mm -hmm. the entrance to the ghetto is across the square. The gate is usually open, but right now the soldiers are conducting a raid. You will have to wait until they open the gates again. Where do I go once I'm on the inside? Seek out an artisan of the magic craft. Their skills have been mostly outlawed by the Azadi, except inside the ghetto. A practitioner of the craft might be able to help you draw on your latent talents to open a gateway. But be careful. If the Azadi were to learn of your origins and powers, they would show no mercy. You would be sent away to stand trial. And they fear magic, these foreigners. They are doing their best to control it and everyone who uses it. And I fear they may be succeeding in their endeavors. Like I said, you would stand a better chance of getting home if you visited Old Town. What's the magic ghetto? It used to be called Old Town, the oldest neighborhood in Mercuria. Now it's a prison in disguise. Of course it is. All magical peoples in Mercuria have been forced behind those walls to protect them from the humans. At night, the gates are closed, and there are often raids. Homes are turned upside down. Good, honest people are arrested and... Worse. And what? They are taken away, never to be seen again. The Azadi call them terrorists. But they are shopkeepers and tailors and poets. The only terrorists here are... But no, we do not speak ill of the Azadi. They have done so much for us. Mm-hmm. Well, then... Um, yeah. Thank you. You watch yourself out there. Don't get in the way of the Azadi soldiers. If they knew whence you came. I'll be careful. Bye. Psst. Hey. Hey. Oh, really? Oh, what you want there, buddy boy?
What do you want? I hear you're looking for a way into the ghetto. Why are you fire? Who told you... Oh, wait. Weren't you at the inn this morning? Not here. There are soldiers around. Follow me. I'm not oh. following you anywhere. But I can show you a way into the ghetto. Just hold on a minute. Who are you? My name is... It's Worm. No, it's not! It's worm? That doesn't exactly inspire trust. What are you talking about? How do I know I can trust you? Back at the inn, I heard you say the name... April Ryan. You know her? I may know how to get in touch with her. Mm -hmm. You do? How? You'll just have to trust me. Of course. If you overheard me talking to the innkeeper, you know I'm not from... from around here. I can't just follow any stranger I meet on the street. I mean... How do I know you won't lead me into a dark alley, knock me out, tie me up, and drag me into a basement somewhere? Don't give him ideas! I promise I won't drag you into a basement. Besides, what choice do you have? You're stuck here, aren't you? I'm the only one who can take you to... Ri to April. She's the one you're looking for, right? Okay, fine. So I don't have much of a choice. But if you're lying to me, I'll scream. I can scream pretty loud. I'm sure you can. I promise, no basements. Come on. Yeah, you... Yeah. Boy, you're a pain in the tuck. Hurry up. We don't want... Stay close. I am! This is it. We're almost there. I swear, if you're it's gonna just around jump the corner. Me. I will suplex you, boy. I know karate! Now. What the frick? Oh, I know it's a muggin. It's a muggin. She's a screamer. Ray it's a muggin. Be pleased to be bagged as a spy. We I ain't no you. spy. There's no question about it. She's a spy. She does not look azadi. Like that matters. You can't tell and you can't trust anyone. Let's get rid of her. Shut up, boy. Bryn. All I'm saying is, let's not take any chances. She might have a tracking spell on her for all we know. I would have detected it. There is something peculiar about her, but no magic. Peculiar? What did I tell you? She's a spy, all right? Come on, let's get rid of her. Quiet. I'll speak with her. Alone. Oh. What? Why? Because she Ray, said so! Don't make me lose my patience with you. You need to trust me. But I... Bryn, come. Now. Fine. Fine, but don't say I didn't warn you. So, why are you oh, asking questions hey. about me? Where am I? Who are you? I'm asking the questions here. Wait, you're April, aren't you? I recognize you from the picture. What? What picture? A picture of you and your friends. Charlie and Emma. Well, there I we go. I was in your old room at the Victor... In the border house in Newport. Charlie told me about you. That you disappeared and that... Whoa, slow down, slow down. You know Charlie and Emma? How's that even... How are they doing? <laughs> I only just death. met them. At the Fringe. Back in... Uh, back in my world. Stark. I'm guessing you're not a spy. I don't even know how I got here. Last thing I remember, I was at the Fringe. I was going upstairs to make a call, and then... Black. You can't jump. When I woke up, I was in this strange place. A subterranean city. And there were these... Uh, these creatures. I had to sneak by them. All the time I was repeating to myself, They can't harm you, it's just a dream. Except... Except it's no dream. I know the feeling. When I first came here... I refuse to believe what my eyes and ears were telling me. But you learn to accept the truth. You have to. You're a shifter. You've traveled through the divide between worlds. Uh -huh. You're in Arcadia. A shifter? That's what Ben Rime and Minstrom Magda told me. What's a shifter? It'll take too long to explain. You're special. How's that? You can travel between worlds. Travel? So how do I get back to our world? Your world, not mine. You just... do it. 
Once you learn how, it's like blinking with your mind. Oh, really? But I can't even remember how I got here in the first place. First couple of times, it's hard. It's easier when you're asleep. I wasn't sleeping. At least, I don't think I was. It's fuzzy. Oh, how could you just send sure you'll figure it out. What's your name? Zoe. Look, Zoe, I'd let you go, but I don't want you walking around out there asking questions, drawing attention to yourself. We'll have to put you somewhere... safe. Until you can find your really? way back to Stark. No. No, I'm here now, and I need your help. Really? What? Why? Something's happening back in the real world. In my world. And I think you're connected to it somehow. Oh, yeah. I've been... receiving this strange message... Like a... I don't know. A vision broadcast through the wire. I keep seeing a snowy landscape with a scary black house that looks like a doll's house. And a little girl. Find April Ryan, she says. Save her. Over and over again. Mm-hmm. Receiving? How? Through dreams? Not exactly. No. No, on screens. It's like... Like some kind of static interference. What does it mean? Don't ask me. I don't need saving. You've got the wrong woman. I want a bit. I don't think so. This girl. She led me to your room where I found the picture. It can't be a coincidence. It can't? You're sure about that? Look, Stark's not my world anymore. You've got problems. You figure them out. That's what I had to do. <laughs> I'm done with the saving of the world. Ask someone else. No, you're but not. I'll help you get back. It's either that, or we lock you up somewhere until you figure out how to use your powers. And what do I tell your friends? Tell them whatever you want. The April Ryan they knew is dead. I'm not part of their world anymore. So you're not going to help me? You're not curious to find out why I keep getting these messages about you? What if something big is going down and... Like I said, not my problem. I've played my part. Just leave me alone. Now, do you want to go back or not? I do. Of course I do. Good. Like I said, if this doesn't work, we'll have to make other arrangements. We're going to put you under hypnosis and unlock the part of your subconscious that controls your shifting powers. Oh, really? Lie down on that bed, and I'll be right back. Okay. Well, I'm sure this can't be that hard. What are you going to do? There's a part of you that knows how to travel. I will help you remember what you have not yet learned. And I'll end up back in Newport. Can't guarantee you that. You might end up somewhere else. Just try and focus on a familiar place. A safe place. Okay. So you're not going to help me? You don't need my help. Lie still. Oh. What are you talking about? Something's going on back in our world. A good friend of mine's disappeared and... And you need to not talk. Or would you rather have me lock you up? I slap you! I think April can help me find out what's happened to him and why. So why won't you? Because I have enough trouble in my life already. Because I'm fighting a war and because I'm done with your world. Now this is your final chance. Close your eyes. Breathe slowly. Don't speak. Listen to Naane's voice. Nea, Amam, Ayan An. Listen to my voice. Let it carry you into yourself, into the secret places in your mind. Ane an, an an, a an an. I don't feel a thing. What's this supposed to? Oh, well, we're naked now. But okay. What just happened? I do not know. April an. She did not open a shift, and her clothes. Well. They're still here. Where did she go? I do not know. I have never seen anything like it. It is almost as though she was smoke blown away by a wind. That's... Is she dead? No. I cannot say. I do not feel her here, in this world. But I will say this. I do not think this girl is a shifter. Nope. Then what is she? And where did she go? Oh, we went back home. It's going to be a longer episode than I was intending. Meanwhile... More cutscenes.
And where the Sam Hill are we now? Oh, we're saving the game. What the, what the heck's going on? What? What the heck? I'm already fighting. What the heck? Okay, I better, better fight this guy. him candidly. I don't know why we were fighting. Another fight, really? <sighs> just, 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 uh... Your enemies will tremble before you. No, be him quickly, too. This person knows how to fight. Or I'm just getting better at combat. Oh, this guy is going to definitely be a... He's got a... Yes! Why, why, okay, why, why are we fighting? Oh, good, and I can stop now. And we're going to save! So, why in the slam hill we suddenly this guy doing some sword fighting? Where the hell are we? And where the hell did Zoe go? Find out next time on the Big Man Plays Dreamfall, the longest journey. Till next, Big Fatty Plus. Sayonara, and uh, I, I really hope that Zoe went back to where she vanished uh, in Stark, because otherwise if she didn't, she's going to be quite cold and naked. And, um, then I'm, gonna, then I'm going to have to censor this game.